name is Stanen and I'm a librarian at the Nanaimo Harbor Front Library in downtown Nanaimo and we are one of the branches of the Vancouver Island Regional Library System. Um, today I'm going to share with you some of my favorite nonfiction books for kids that we currently have on our shelves. Um, now there's all kinds of different nonfiction books out there, um, but the ones that I'm going to share with you today all talk about um, the world around us and they're also, they all have some other commonalities. So none of these books are the type of books that you have to read from the beginning to the end. They're all books that you can pick up and just sort of pick a random page and read a little bit of information and learn something new. Um, and they also are all books that I personally find really visually attractive and appealing. They've got great art and design throughout. So the first book I'm going to talk to you about is Earth Shattering Events, Volcanoes, Earthquakes, Cyclones, Tsunamis, and Other Natural Disasters. This is written by Robin Jacobs and then illustrated wonderfully, as you can see, by Sophie Williams. Um, so this book takes you through a whole bunch of different um, disasters that can happen throughout the world um, and as you can see it's really um, visually appealing um, what I like about it is it sort of breaks down the different types of disasters that can happen and first it gives you a whole bunch of information about it it explains sort of the mechanics behind that particular thing that can happen in the world um, and then it gives you a bunch of sort of interesting facts about that particular type of disaster. Um, it gives you what to do if you're ever caught in one of these wild events that can happen in our world, um, rarely, thankfully. Um, and it even gives you sort of like the biggest and the worst of these types of events that can happen for each one. So it starts out with um, uh, sort of uh, meteorological disasters and then moves on to, or sorry, natural disasters and then it moves on to meteorological things. So things that are in, in the weather, so strange weather occurrences that can happen. Um, it's just great. It's, there's lots of little things if you want, if you're ever interested in finding out like the biggest and worst hailstorm that ever happened in the world. Looks like there was one in 2004 right here in Canada in Edmonton. A um, 30 minute storm that produced hailstones the size of golf balls, can you imagine that? And left a blanket of ice six centimeters deep on the ground. So yeah, just a, a really fun, interesting, adventurous book. So the next book I'm going to talk to you about is called Beetles for Breakfast and Other Weird and Wonderful Ways to Save the Planet. And that's written by Madeline Finley and Jisoo Choi. And as you can see just from the cover, uh, the illustrations in this book are absolutely fantastic. It's super colorful. There's lots of amazing details. Um, and the way this book works is it sort of takes a bunch of familiar places in our world and gives you an idea of what these places might look like in the future if we were to take on and adopt some more sustainable practices in our world. So here's um, what a future city might look like. And I don't know if you can see in this video, but there's little numbers that are um, written around the, the picture. And then along the bottom, there's a little guide to what those numbers are indicating. And if you carry on in that section, um, the next page will break down what you're seeing um, at each of those numbers and there, there are some pretty new and interesting ideas and ways for um, all of us as human beings to kind of make our world uh, a more environmentally safe place to be. So yeah, you can see here's a picture of what a future school might look like. I thought this was pretty neat. This is uh, clothing that grows with you based on principles of origami. So can you imagine that, having your clothes all folded, the same clothes that you buy when you're six years old, you're still wearing at age 12 because they still fit you? It's kind of neat. So yeah, this is uh, Beetles for Breakfast. Highly recommended. It's great. Okay, the next book that I have to show you is called The Steam Team Explains. And it's a pretty cool book. Really, again, visually interesting. Again, you can just pick it up and um, jump onto any page, um, but 
incredibly on these like very brief, not too wordy, very visual pages, they manage to explain some really, really fundamental concepts about just how the world works around you. Um, so it's really good um, sort of preparatory uh, information uh, for all the things that you're going to learn in school as you get older. And then there's these fun little guys that uh, take you through the, the whole process. Yeah. So the next book I want to show you is called How to Make a Better World by Keeley Swift. Um, and it's published by DK, which uh, they publish quite a lot of really cool nonfiction books um, that are, again, in, uh, really visually appealing and sort of chunk out pieces of information in a fun, really easily digestible way. Um, so this particular book um, is more about, less about science and more about what to do once you've learned a few scientific things and how you can go about um, making the world a better place. What I like about this book is it's broken down into um, different categories and the first category is the things that you can do for yourself. So things like self-care, um, being kind, gives you lots of different practical ways to apply um, some skills. The next section is community and it talks about um, really easy to do things that you can do for your community um, and it really kind of gives lots of inspiration for instance here's a whole bunch of um, super inspiring young people who have done exactly what this book is suggesting that you do which is um, just follow um, follow your heart and um, stand up for the things that you care about right here this is a cool um, find your cause quiz so a little quiz to help you figure out where you want to start in making the world a better place. Um, yeah, and at the end there's some great resources. It gives you some background on historical pe figures who have made an impact on the world. Lots of um, additional resources to where you can find out more credible information. And like any really good nonfiction book, there's a glossary and an index at the end. Okay, so that's how to make a better world. So the last two books that I want to share with you are both about animals and um, different creatures that you can find in our world. This first one is published by The Curiosity, and it's called Natural World, a visual compendium of wonders from nature. It's written by Amanda Wood and Mike Jolly, illustrated by Owen Davey. And I love this book because not only does it tell you a lot about um, different living things, but the illustrations are just stunning. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can get this on the camera for you. You can see there's these kind of dark, moody uh, illustrations that really are kind of retro in a way. So they kind of like harken back to really old-fashioned books, but it's still really modern at the same time. And yeah, it just takes you through all different kinds of animals. You can see here with the bird, it's showing you what the, the um, skeleton looks like, um, how their wings work, um, feathers, all the different purposes for feathers. Um, yeah, and it's, it's quite a large, lovely book with really thick pages. Um, it just feels, feels great in your hands. It's got these beautiful ribbons, multiple colorful ribbons to help you hold your place if you want to come back to something. Um, and again, you can just pick it up, read about super-powered owls, put it down, pick it up again another time, um, and read about all about amphibians. Um, so yeah, lovely, beautiful book. Highly, highly recommend it. You can see these pages are just gorgeous. And um, similarly, uh, I would also like to recommend um, Lonely Planet Kids Wild in the City, a guide to urban animals around the world. Um, so this book was written by Kate Baker, illustrated by Gianluca Foley. Um, and again, uh, we have some really kind of retro uh, sort of fonts 
and styling to this particular book. Um, the illustrations are just pretty beautiful, but also, yeah, like I mentioned, the fonts, which I think is um, really evocative. Uh, seeing di different words written out in different ways can really kind of stimulate your imagination and, and um, take you uh, on another journey with, um, with your reading. Um, yeah, this book's really cool because it talks about animals that aren't necessarily out in the forest or um, in some kind of like uh, wild wilderness area or, or um, landscape that we don't access, but it's actually about creatures that live in our, our human populated cities. So here's turkey vultures, which um, we have right here in Nanaimo. Um, yeah, so that's Wild in the City. A Guide to Urban Animals Around the World. And those are just a few of the many super awesome um, nonfiction books that we have to offer for kids here at the Vancouver Island Regional Library. I hope you enjoyed uh, that little preview of those books and uh, have a great day. Bye.